Uh, my name is Dewan Parker. I'm a producer, keyboard player. Uh, I went to Berkeley, and not long after that, uh, I became uh, a principal player in Aftermath, which is Dr. Dre's label. And you might have been able to hear me on a lot of productions for Jay-Z, Busta Rhymes, uh, most recently Eminem. What initially attracted me about the machine was actually uh, its small profile. I was uh, traveling a lot while recording with Eminem, and I knew I needed uh, something that, was, uh, that would help me in my mobile setup and that uh, hopefully be like a replacement to the MPC in a way. You know, I know some people that's taboo. But uh, that's what I needed. What surprised me about the machine was how many sounds it had and how many of the stock sounds are actually really, really good. And they keep you inspired and keep you creative. So when I first unpackaged the machine, I'm in my hotel room, I'm going to set it up with you know my laptop and everything, and I'm starting to build sounds, and I'm like, man, are these, you know, is this like an artist kit that was put in there? Or, you know, these are the stock sounds. And that's been the surprise of, uh, of everyone that I've come across, especially people who make urban music. We really need really hitting heart, you know, hard hitting drums rather. And uh, that was great. And that's the, that's the basis of it. If the sounds aren't there, we can't really use it. One of the things I like about the machine uh, that helps me creatively is, uh, you know, as you're recording for a while, you always run into creative walls and you try to find ways to get around it. And the way that this is built is I can build kits like really on the fly just by finding my kick that I like, finding a snare I like and so on. So I'll go into browse here. I'll just start hitting this and just finding a kick. So I really like one. And this is faster. I've been able to find drums this way faster than ever before. You know, MPC or any other thing I have to do, you're loading a kit up at a time and you may have maybe 64 options, but to me, this almost seems infinite. Yeah, we might go vinyl today. So I'll, I'll choose that and then I'll just go to my next pad. That sounds real brick beatish. So that's basically what I would do. And I'll fill this whole kit up and then start right from scratch, build another kit right, start right from scratch and it just, uh, it just makes it so fast. And uh, that's key because you know, inspiration, you hear an idea, you need to capture it right then. You know, that's a lot of times the second take uh, isn't as good as the first one. You know, the hip hop culture is, you know, really defines a lot of what's going on anyway, but so much of the products industry has not really catered towards that genre. We've had to make it, make it work. And this is like, with so much of that in mind, it makes it that much, you know, less work for us and we get to spend more time being creative and just building the idea that you're hearing in your head, not trying to get the perfect sound. You know, it takes less work for that. And so, you know, thumbs up, thumbs up on that. I used to have to bring this. Now I'm tempted to bring, to take this out when I'm on the plane, you know, and I have my laptop and, and this, you know, I don't really need anything else. I can even really chop samples and, you know, find a cool in a gang break or a James Brown loop or something and, and chop it up and switch it around and, you know, do anything. And I, I really like that there's a machine that, or a program that has a visual interface on the computer, but it still is based about you using the pads and using the knobs. But when I want to look at my screen, I also have a really clean interface that I can look at as well. This has become more and more of a focal part of my production setup and the way that I approach making music, and uh, I really rely on it.